So this is a search cycle. Typical compressor search line on performance map. This is also known as a performance map. Inlet flow on the x axis and compression ratio PD over PS on the y axis. We see that the compressor flow starts reducing, reducing. And then this is the search limit line. It goes beyond the search limit line where the flow becomes negative and then it recovers. So this cycle is a search cycle. Compressor is operating at 100% RPM. So we see that. And this is the time domain profile of the search. We have discussed these that the flow reverses in 20 to 50 milliseconds. Search cycle at a rate of 0 0.3 seconds to 3 seconds per cycle. 3 seconds per second. Compressor vibrates. Uh, strong noise is produced. Which temperature rises, a losing noise. Um, the noise can be heard uh, very loudly. Tips may occur, tripping system may occur, uh, if, uh, uh, the vibration system is not being stored at the compressor. So, tripping can occur. Conventional instruments or human operators may fail to recognize such. So, we need a delicate and intelligent control system to protect the compressor from such. Search consequences, unstable, low and pressure as we saw standard in profile. Damage in sequence with increasing severity to seals, bearings and feathers, sharp. Increased seal clearances and leakages. Low energy efficiency. Reduced compressor life. Use noted centrifugal compressors are very costly machines. Uh, and now we will discuss very important factors leading to search. And the startup. Startup is uh, usually a point where uh, search can typically come. Similarly, at Shadown, we can uh, search, we can observe search at the compressors. Uh, operation at the reduced throughput. When there is low flow condition, uh, that, then there is a danger of and threat of search. And there are also operation to heavy throughput with the trips. Of course, there is a heavy flow going and the system all of a sudden trips on certain port. Then this condition is a very dangerous condition uh, and the surge can occur. But at this stage, compressor shuts down, its PD decreases and the pH can be greater. So, reverse flow uh, is possible from header to discharge pressure. So, due, due to any power loss to the prime mover, operator errors, process upsets, load changes, if there are changes in the gas compositions, cooler problems, filter or strainer problems. Uh, strainer problem, this is a strainer is a, a device um, which is installed in series before the compressor uh, to uh, remove the foreign particles. So if the strainer is choked, uh, no flow condition can uh, occur. Or the driver problems, that is the primary one. Surge is not limited to times of reduced throughput, surge can occur at full operation. We will discuss uh, in my master's thesis. I have simulated all the conditions like startup, shutdown, emergency shutdown of the unit, and uh, uh, all these factors I have simulated, and I will discuss the results. So, our objectives would be with the anti search control system. Increase reliability of machinery and process. We want the reliability of the machinery and the process. So, for this, we need to prevent unnecessary process trips and downtime. Minimize the process disturbances. Prevent the surge and surge damage. Simplify and automate startup and shutdown. Increase efficiency of machinery and process. Operate at lowest possible energy levels. Minimize the anti surge recycle or flow work. We know that recycling uh, is an energy wasting process. So, we want such intelligent system that our recycle should be minimal. And we also need to minimize set point deviation, maximize throughput using all available cost power, and optimize load sharing of multiple units if there are compressors working in parallel.
So this is a self cycle.